Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome to my ultimate 1 to 99 runecrafting guide for 2021. Runecrafting is one of the slowest skills in the game, and it is what holds a lot of people back from maxing their account. Runecrafting is also one of the most profitable skills and most useful skills in the entire game. You can make up to 2 million GP per hour and when you have level 99 runecrafting. And basically the idea of runecrafting is taking pure essence, bringing them to an altar, and making them into the full rune. Today I'm going to be breaking down the runecrafting skill entirely and showing you guys how to get from levels 1 to 99 and show you guys why I love the skill runecrafting. If you guys do like this video, consider giving it a like. This video took me forever to put together, but without farther ado, enjoy the video. In order to start the rune crafting skill, you need to complete the quest Rune Mysteries. For completing this quest, you are awarded one quest point, the runecrafting skill access, and an air talisman. After the completion of rune mysteries, you need to do the enter the abyss mini quest. This will also give you a thousand runecrafting experience and get you your first rune pouch. On screen, I have a bunch of other quests showing the requirements as well and the amount of rewards that they give you. Um, so we have the a ascent of Arceus, whatever the hell you pronounce that, the Slug Menace, Devious Minds, Fremenic Exiles, Lunar Diplomacy, the Eyes of Gluffery, and What Lies Below. These are all quests that will give you runecrafting experience, totaling up to a 34k XP. Highly recommend you do as many of these as possible, and um, this will knock out a lot of the early runecrafting grinds for you, um, but ones that you do have to do is the enter the abyss mini quest and i also highly recommend you get the lunar um, quests out of the way because those ones are great for the future but if you want to skip a lot of the early levels you can do after right after the um enter the abyss mini quest go in, go ahead and do the eyes of gluffery as you can see it doesn't have too many requirements only five construction and 46 magic and this should boost you all the like all the way from level one rune crafting all the way up to level 23. Now I'm going to be talking about runecrafting pouches. So pouches are basically little bags that carry around different um, quantities of pure essence for you so that you can craft more runes per each trip. After completion of the um, abyssal mini quest, um, you will get the small pouch and that will hold three extra pure essence per inventory. Now, in order to obtain the medium, large, and the giant pouches, you will need to obviously level up your runecrafting. And um, for the medium, you will need 25, the large, level 50 runecrafting, and the giant, 75 runecrafting. Medium will hold 6, the large will hold 9, and the giant will hold 12. So this will let you store a lot of extra pure essence per inventory. How you get these is by killing abyssal guardians or abyssal leeches, and you can kill these in the abyss. It shouldn't take you too long. They have a 1 out of 42 drop rate for killing them, so it shouldn't take you too long at all. Recommended stats for training runecrafting is have the highest agility level possible because um, you're going to be constantly running and as well as train your mining a little bit for abyss runs, which I will show you later. Now, as for gear when training runecrafting, you're going to want to have the full graceful before you even start is what I would recommend. But if you do not have it, have any of the weight reducing armor such as the boots of lightness, spottier capes, but try your best to get the graceful out of the way. It will help you so much and you won't regret getting this out of the way. All right, so now we are on to the actual leveling proportion of the guide. So if you did the two quests that I recommended for you to do, you should have up to level 23 rune crafting and have the ability to craft lava runes. Now for lava runes, what you're going to need is a binding necklace. And all a binding necklace does is basically make it a 100% success rate in combining runes. You can just buy these off the grand exchange. They will have 16 charges on them. 
and then you just have to replace it but they're very cheap and as well as you're gonna want to have 82 magic and have the lunar quests out of the way like i was recommending before you knock those out of the way and this will allow you to combine runes without a talisman but do not worry if you do not have this you can just bring an extra talisman every single trip that will add up making this cost a lot more but if you do not want to do lava runes fire runes are another good option they're also very fast until we get to the next method but this is the absolute best you can do at the start and it gets up to 50 to even up to 70k experience per hour i've never personally got 70k with doing this method but it is possible so pretty much from your bank you just want to fill up your i guess singular pouch or if you want to do this later fill up multiple pouches i do not have it set up properly but um, yeah, you just want to have full runes, have your actual runes in your rune pouch and um, stuff like that. Make sure you have earth runes with you as well. This is very important. And then go ahead and use your ring of dueling to go to um, the duel arena. Once you are at the duel arena, just head completely north up into the fire rune. Make sure you're wearing a fire tiara or if you i have the 99 rune crafting cape so i don't need the fire tiara but make sure you're wearing that if you want to get in here or you could also use a fire talisman and instead of just clicking craft on the runes what you're going to want to do is click magic in view make sure you have your binding necklace equipped and then use your earth runes on the altar now this will make lava runes and as you can see it's pretty good experience rates and like I said, if you can't do lava runes, just do fire runes. They're pretty good as well, especially at the very start. But this is what you want to do up until the next portion. Keep in mind, you could do lava runes all the way to 99, but you will not make any money. It will be pretty fast, though, if you want to do this, say, till 77 or another portion in the guide. But uh, lava runes are a great option. Now, the second method I'm going to show you today is another common way people go from getting their starting to runecrafting up until level 77 or even in some cases to 99. Now for this method you're going to need to be on world 327 and for this you will have to have completed the lunar diplomacy and have 71 magic for the teleport there. So pretty much this method is going to the Aurora Aurorania altar i'm not sure how you actually pronounce that but basically what this altar is is an altar with every rune in the game so as you can see there's a lot of people here if you're on the designated world and the good thing that i do like about this method is you can actually follow somebody all the way there so this makes this very afk for those who like afk rune crafting um, I personally would have done this method if I was a main account because it's pretty fast XP rates and you still make money. But at the same time, I'm an Iron Man, so I chose to do other methods right here. So this is how you set up the bank. So this is where you will be banking after every single trip. So basically what you have to do is go ahead and talk to this guy and you have to set up a certain rune that he will take every single time. So I'm just going to choose Astral, but you would want to choose something very cheap like a Mind Rune or an air rune or something like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and choose astral just for the sake of this video but make sure because he does take 20 runes so choose something like a mind rune like that then he will give you access to your bank and then you can go ahead fill up your pouches again and then the beauty about this method is you just right click somebody click follow and you can sit here and afk the entire way to the altar unless of course they stop wow this guy stopped that is really funny so just go ahead and follow somebody all the way to the altar sit back in afk now um you i you um will get hit sometimes with these enemies as you can see but um there's so many people here on the, the world that basically you won't so um as you can see i did just get hit a one there but it's very rare these people are not helping me much today here but um anyways i think i'm killing someone but yeah basically just try and follow somebody you know i've just been really bad luck with this video but yeah so here is the um altar and basically here you just come and craft as you can see the rune crafting xp is pretty good here and you get all types of different runes so you can make a ton of money here but make sure when you're setting up the banking that you just select a very cheap rune something like a mind rune an air rune something like that but yeah just go ahead and empty your pouches back craft your runes again and this is a great method to get to 77 
or even to 99. It's very relaxed. You can just follow somebody AFK the entire trip. And um, I would personally do this if you were a main account. Very good money and you know, it's quick banking. And uh, overall, I would rate this a nine out of 10 method. I really do like that they added this back into old school RuneScape. Now here is your first money maker. This is unlocked at level 44 RuneCrafting and it is of course Nature Runes, my personal favorite. Nature runes are really good for starting accounts because getting level 44 rune crafting with like the first few methods that I showed you will not take too long and then you can start making some serious coin once you hit level 44. Um, rune crafting nature runes is mainly through Edgeville. Um, the use of a glory to get back and then just running through the abyss. This is where a graceful comes in handy and a pickaxe. Now you can wear a black pickaxe and this actually doesn't weigh anything. So I would highly recommend you wear that and just have a glory to get back and repeat the process again. But overall, this is a great method. You just basically run through the abyss, craft your runes and make a ton of money. At level 91 runecrafting, you get double nature runes. So when you hit level 91 runecrafting, which you could go and go ahead and do other methods that I'm going to be showing you later on in the video and come back to this once you hit 91 and you will be making a lot of money. So bas basically all you have to do is from Edgeville, just run completely north, enter the wilderness. Keep in mind, you will be in the wilderness and after you enter the abyss you will be scald just go ahead and teleport with the um mage of zamorak right here and this these are the creatures that um you get your rune pouches from so if you need to just go ahead and kill these to get your pouches now either find a mine or find one that you can squeeze through an agility obstacle so this is why you bring the pickaxe because you can go ahead and mine the rocks here or there's also agility things that you can squeeze through right here and the thing I really like about the abyss as well is the dark mage is right in the center. And when your pouches degrade, you're going to have to come here and repair them. So just go ahead and repair your pouches on the dark mage. And that will just, you know, make them fixed forever. I actually don't think I need to with the 99 rune crafting um, perk. But um, yeah, that's where you're going to go ahead and repair your pouches. Just go through the nature rift right here and simply craft your runes. And the last little bit here is crafted. I think I missed a couple. Yeah, I did. But uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the profit from one quick trip there. We made 20k. So if you didn't have the 91 rune crafting, it's still 10k profit in less than a minute. Rune crafting is awesome. Coming in at another alternative, level 40, you actually unlock astral runes. But nature runes are so much better. But the thing is here. Um, at level 82 rune crafting, you unlock the double astral runes way before you hit the double nature runes. So basically, when you hit level 82, if you want to make more money than single gnats, I would highly recommend trying out astrals. Astrals are actually faster XP. I've done this multiple times and astrals are faster XP than nature's, not by much, but by a couple K XP per hour. Basically, what you want to do is teleport with the Lunar Spellbook. You're obviously going to need that to the Moon Clan teleport right here. And that will teleport you right here. And then you just run to the bank, fill up your pouches, and then run completely south down the docks here. Um, this one, the only thing is it's locked behind a quest. And Nature Runes, you can just do right off the bat. But the only problem with Nature Runes is you need 91 for double. If you want to make a double consistent all the time, double astrals is unlocked at level 82. Just knock out the quest. Trust me, it'll be better for your account in the long term anyways. And here is where you can do the double astral runes. Now, I find astral runes very relaxing. There's a lot less people doing them. And perks of this is you do not have to enter the wilderness, which is amazing because then you don't have any risk involved. And instead of using glory charges, you just, you know, teleport back. And if you have like your regular room pouch and stuff like that, that you'll be making astral runes anyway so the teleport cost will be very very cheap and overall i really like doing astral runes and also um to get onto the spell book you can just click pray here and you'll switch to the astral spell book so that's how you get onto it but uh yeah anyways this is a great method overall i would give this one as well honestly a nine out of ten um awesome method to do um, I never actually rated the um, nature runes, but I would give the nature runes an 8 out of 10. I like the astrals a lot better. They're safer and you make a lot of money once you hit level 82. 
Congratulations, you did it. You got up to 77 rune crafting, and I'm assuming that was the goal you were going for, because now you have unlocked one of the best money making passively AFK in the game and pretty decent rune crafting XP as well. For this method for blood rune crafting, you will need 77 rune crafting, 73 agility, and 100% Arceus favor. So it's a little bit of a higher requirement. And how you end up getting here is you can use the um, the Book of the Dead or the Karar's Memories, whatever it was called before they changed it, and you just teleport to this destination right here. And basically what you want to do once you are here is just completely go north. All the way up here, there is a fairy ring with CIS, which you can pay 50k to use, and that will get you pretty close to the dark altar here, where you can swap your spellbook to the Arceus. And if you have 99 magic or something in your house where you can just swap your spellbook quicker, all you have to do is cast the home teleport, and that will teleport you right to the center there. So after casting that spell, you'll land up right here, and this is where you will be staying for a long time. So basically what you want to do is run up here and go down here. This is why you needed the agility, by the way. You need level 73 and 69 agility and 49 for souls, but uh, make sure you have the 73 agility. But basically what you want to do is just, you know, completely run east all the way down into the mines here. Make sure you have your pickaxe equipped and have a chisel actually if you do not have a chisel there is a chisel spawn here but usually people pick it up yeah there's a chisel spawn right there so you realistically only need to bring your pickaxe um and all you have to do is chip at this descent dense uh rune stone and you know over time you will fill up your inventory this is why people love this method because it is so afk the afk part is the mining you just sit here all day long mining when this one depletes this one you go back and forth fill up your whole inventory and it is great to have the um, medium diary complete because you will have a chance of obtaining two at a time and the elite is amazing to complete because you will get 10 percent more blood runes which at the end of the day that's 10 percent more profit now, I'm not going to go ahead and waste my time and fill up a full inventory, but you you guys understand. You fill up a full inventory up here, and then you have to come back up, climb up these rocks, and then you have to go up to this thing. So just go completely east and right back to where you basically teleported in, and you can take advantage of that actually and use it every half an hour and head right back here just to save yourself a little bit of time. Come up here and you want to um basically turn these into the dense or the dark essence blocks this just gives you a slight bit of runecrafting xp but not too much and what you want to do is just chisel it and basically you can store 28 of these fragments in here so once you chisel all of them you run back mine a another full inventory then come back turn them back into the um the um, stones again the dark stones and then you want to either um, do your blood runes or soul runes so from 70 you know like um, 77 to 90 you can do the blood runes and I will show you the path now so blood runes and souls are very similar they just have different paths so for blood runes you just want to run all the way back pretty much to where you came from and then just head uh, up basically so head south once you get to the end here you'll you'll be able to see it on the mini map right here where there's like a little cut you just run up there and this is very afk there's a spot where you can click down there um i'm gonna leave a link in the description below i have about 10 rune crafting guides on my channel for different ones in depth more in depth of showing you how to do each rune i have a full blood rune crafting guide on my channel which i will leave for you guys to check out but basically you just mine that run all the way up here and then you head to the altar and this is where you're going to get some insane rune crafting experience rates you'll get like 2k drops at a time and you have a chance of getting the pet obviously i ended up getting the pet right here but uh yeah all you have to do is just craft the runes and then chip your essence again and craft the runes so as you can see very good rune crafting xp for only having four and as you can see, my blood stack in the inventory, this is from months and months of it. It was at 450,000. I ended up selling a little bit for some money, but uh, I made a ton of money here. Once you're done, you just have to use this level 73 agility requirement right here. You just run down and you can start mining again. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the soul path. Souls are for 90 to 99. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the path for souls now. Basically the same thing, you just chip them, make sure you get a full inventory, run back, get another full inventory, and the only reason you would actually want to do souls over bloods is you get slightly faster XP. I think it's like five, maybe 10K XP more per hour. So blood runes are anywhere between 30 and 40K and bloods are anywhere from 40 to 50K. Honestly, just depends on, you know, you. If you want to get rune crafting knocked out of the way faster, then, you know, soul runes might be an option for you. You might want to do a little bit of both. But at the end of the day, I would highly recommend you just stay with Bloods, get a little bit slower experience, but you make a ton more money. When I was doing this my entire way to 99, I, I did a couple hours here and there of souls, and I would never see anyone else doing it with me. But blood runes, you would see people all of the time. But I thought I would just throw this in because it is really good experience rates. So yeah, overall, um, that's the trip for um, the souls. But basically for how do you get back to the mine is when you're running back, there is a little gap that you can take. I'll show you guys on the mini map here. Right when you're running back, there's a little boulder here that only requires 49 agility and it will bring you right back to the mines. So wouldn't really recommend doing souls i would stick with blood runes but it's up to you if you want the fastest xp then 100 percent go with the um souls but it, it's only if you want to afk right like if you want the fastest xp either you know do lava runes or st something like that lava runes you could do the arania altar but i would highly just recommend staying with the blood runes okay yeah here's the little shortcut basically you just run up this hill here and of course i'm like not clicking it but yeah you run up this hill here and you have to go to the boulder and you'll run yourself all the way back down basically to where you can start mining again it's just it's not a good like system compared to the blood runes it's just so much easier doing the blood runes and then you're right back to mining but uh overall i would rate souls honestly six or seven out of ten blood runes 100 percent 10 out of 10 but uh souls aren't the best but yeah that is how you achieve 99 rune crafting in 2021. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, the support of my channel lately has been amazing. If you want to see more of these guides, leave a skill down in the comments and I will try my best to make a 1 to 99 guide for it. And even if I do not have the 99, I will, I'm pretty much 90 plus all, so I can make a 99 guide on almost any skill. So thank you guys for everything as always, and I will catch you guys in the next video. And yeah, good luck with your 99 rune crafting. You make a lot of money, and it is great to have it over with. See ya later.